you've ever heard of front end and back end, but didn't quite know what they mean, I'm going to give you a breakdown. Let's start with front end coding. This is all about how a website looks and feels. Think of it like decorating a house. The front end is everything you see on a website. Images, text, buttons and layout. So we can break front end down into three main points. Firstly, it's how things look. From colours to layout, it's all about appearance. It's the first thing you see on a website. The next is images, content and structure. Front end development is all about arranging it into a user friendly way. And the last one is the three core cool languages that bring it all together. HTML for structure, CSS for design, and JavaScript for interactivity. Now this is a really simplified version of the languages involved, but at the most basic level, those are the three languages. Now the back end is like the engine under the hood. You don't see it, but it's doing all the heavy lifting to make sure the website works. So if front end is like decorating, back end is more like plumbing and electricity. The back end also has three key points. Number one, how data and processes are managed. It's about managing what happens behind the scenes. Number two is data storage security and auth, ensuring data is secured properly and users are authenticated. Very important parts of a website and key to making websites work. Lastly are the languages used in backend development like Node.js, PHP, C Sharp and .NET, Java and Ruby. Backend developers use these languages to handle the data processing and the logic. So whether you like creating the visuals or building the systems that run them, there's a role for you in coding.